I've saved the best demonstration for last. It doesn't really need an introduction, so I'm just going to refresh the browser. The file that does this is named starwars.html in the working files folder. Everything you see here is achieved using CSS3 animations. No JavaScript was required and no Ewoks were harmed in its creation. Now I have to admit that it's fairly pointless and you really wouldn't want to use this on all your sites. But it does show what's possible. You should also be aware that it'll fail dismally in older browsers, so I wouldn't recommend depending on it. But let's have a look at the code. In our HTML, we have a paragraph with an ID of start. This is followed by an H1 title with the Star Wars logo. And the scrolling titles are implemented in two divs. The first has an ID of titles, and this is what gives us the perspective. The inner element has an ID of title content, and this is what's scrolled over the parent using animation. So let's examine the CSS. So our paragraph with an ID of start, which contains the text a short time ago in a browser very, very close, is an animation which is run over two seconds, and it starts immediately after the page is loaded. Now it reduces the opacity to zero, but you'll notice that it's only in the last 10% or 200 milliseconds that it will fade out to nothing. Next we have the H1 title with the Star Wars logo. Now this starts after two and a half seconds, so that's half a second after our initial animation has faded out. Now it reduces the size using the scale transform and the opacity over five seconds, so it disappears from view. Next we have the scrolling titles themselves, which start on line 89. The outer titles element is positioned at the bottom of the screen and rotated 25 degrees around the x-axis in given perspective. We also have an after pseudo element, which has a linear gradient which fades out our text at the top. If we didn't have that, you would see all the text disappear into a single line of pixels at the top of the screen. Next is our title content element. Now this contains the text itself, so its top is positioned at 100% so it's off the screen. It applies an animation named scroll after 4 seconds. So it appears a little before our H1 Star Wars title has disappeared. Now the animation itself lasts for 100 seconds. And it scrolls up 150%. You may need to adjust both those parameters if you change the quantity of text. Finally, you'll notice that I've added an animation play state of paused. And this will halt the scrolling when the user hovers over the titles. But really, it's quite simple for such a dramatic and nostalgia-inducing effect. I'll leave you to add John Williams' music using the HTML5 audio tag, which is a little outside the scope of this course.